Hey guys! Welcome, welcome. Um, so to start with, I gotta apologize because for some reason they just started doing a bunch of street work in the last like two minutes. So if you hear, if it's noisy or whatever, I'm sorry and I hope that does not affect my connection, my internet connection. But anyways, um, a few days ago I did a video on resin ornaments. Now I actually really love how these came out. But I want to see if we can make some that are a bit less transparent. And then also, I made some acrylic pour cards. Because, you know, why not? So, I figured we'd make a few of these tonight. So we're going to start with the um, resin on the ornaments. Hey, hey, everybody. So hold on one second, I'm just get my computer up and run in here. Okay. Oops, I am on the wrong one. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, there we go. Correct account. All right. Yep, I have a feeling that construction is going to mess with my connection here. There you guys are. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where is everybody? Hey, Allie. Hey, Nate. Okay, good. You know, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a bit better. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, so the last time I did these, I did it with uh, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. So tonight I'm going to use the Quick Coat, which um, I haven't done any videos on it yet, but I've used it a few times. It definitely cures a lot fast. Wow, okay. So for the missed my introduction, they're doing a bunch of street work for some reason that they just started literally like a few minutes before... I started doing the live video so um yeah I feel like that's gonna maybe mess with us a little bit tonight so I'm sorry guys in advance <sighs> all right let's try this again <laughs> okay so did you all get that I'm gonna be using the quick coat um which cures a lot faster and then there's these two here that I poured with acrylic on that I don't particularly like. So I'm going to go over those as well and see how that goes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up. Oh, yay. Hey, Danelle. Hey, Rebecca. Glad you made it. All right. Get my Sharpie here. I'm just going to mark where I mix. Where I poured this to so that I have the same amount. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Good. You guys, I just did something really funny. <laughs> I completely forgot which one I poured, so I actually had to go back in the video to see which one I poured. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is going to be a fun night, I can tell already. I think I need some more coffee. <laughs> oh no, Libby. Well, good luck. I know, right? Thank goodness for a replay. That would have been hilarious if I poured two part A's or two part B's. Actually, that wouldn't have been hilarious. I would have probably been super sad. But anyways, I went back and watched the replay, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Funny, funny times. Okay. A little spicy is in the house. Yes, I said coffee. Have you guys checked out my new shirts? The one that say uh, motivated by creativity and coffee. I think they're adorable. <laughs> okay. 
So we're not mixing up too much of this because you really don't need a lot. Um, and even though this stuff cures really fast, we mix it for a couple minutes just like the other stuff. The other stuff, the other kinds of resin. Um, and a difference with this is you don't want to leave it any amount sitting in the cup really because it will cure like crazy fast. Yeah, and it's same thing. You mix one part, one part. Hello from Winnipeg. <laughs> no, this is the uh, quick coat, the stone coat countertops quick coat. So, um, and also a note about the quick coat. Um, because a lot of you probably haven't tried it. This stuff is stinky as heck. There are other resins, none of them so far smell, but this one, very, very stinky. So just as a note. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's give this a go. I'm doing um, three base coats. I'm doing the same colors that I did on the other ones. So I'm doing the purple base tint, the teal base tint, the white base tint, and then gold mica powder. Okay, get this all mixed up. Gonna go ahead and set that there. <laughs> Cause why not? <laughs> All right. Hello from Seattle. That's awesome, Ryan. Good job. Okay, so I gotta work fast with this stuff. With this resin, you have like a maybe a 10 minute work time. You really don't have a lot of time. So we're gonna work fast as we can. And hopefully I've mixed up enough here. All right, get some resin on there. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody. All right. So, I'm gonna start with these guys. And how I did this last time was I just kind of manually did it here with the stick so I can get a little more control. Now you can already tell, look how thick that is comparatively to the art coat. If you saw the video with the art coat, it, the art coat really just like ran down. That's not running down. That's taking its time. Uh, here we go. All right, there we got some white. Whoop. Okay, let's go ahead with some teal. And guys, do stick around tonight um, because in just a little bit, we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway um, this week and next week. You know, it's the holiday season. I'm definitely in a very giving mood. So there's gonna be a giveaway tonight and then a giveaway next Wednesday as well. So stay until the end if you can, or at least for a little bit. Okay. I think I'm like freaking out about this stuff curing too fast, so I'm going like really fast. Uh, no pressure, no pressure. Okay. This is like intense concentration. And I'm also, I'm not gonna worry too much about if the, if the um, ornaments get fully, fully covered. I'm not gonna stress about it too much. If they do, great. If they don't, that's okay. They'll still look cool either way. You 
you know what I did last time too that I didn't do this time was I put a base of clear down first. I wonder how much difference that really made. Probably a good amount actually now that I think about it. I'm gonna turn this around. Turn around. Nope. <laughs> Get back here. This is such a pretty color combo. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at the comments too much because I'm a little stressed about the work time with this stuff. All right, let's do some gold. Tina is my pro question answerer. So if you have any questions, just ask artistically random. Or any of the moderators, really. Oh, okay. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I did end up getting 166 requests. Actually, a little more than that, but requests for the... Uh, Christmas cards. So I actually got started on those today. I haven't entirely decided how I want to do them. Um, where the acrylic pour cards came from was I actually started hand making them. And then I was like, okay, I don't know the reality of hand making 166 cards in the next few days. But I think I am going to actually give it my best shot. Hey, Christina. I'm glad you made it. Yeah, looking good so far. Turn this around a little. So this is definitely different than using the art coat. Um, I'm a little worried that I didn't mix up enough resin. Um, the art coat definitely got better coverage because it is more liquid than this is getting. So that's an interesting note. It's always just fun to try new things. And either way, like I said, these will be awesome. Yeah, super in love with this color combo. All right, I do have a lot of teal. So we're going to go a bit crazy on the teal. And then I figure basically we'll put these aside. These will be um, tacky within like very short period of time. So by the end of the video, we should pretty much be able to see how they will look dry. Okay. Yeah. I did not do the clear at the beginning, so that's, I'm sure, affecting this. And I was worried I was going to mix up too much resin. Okay. Good. A little more gold. And then um, we'll set these aside. And the thing is, I can also always come back and do another layer on these. 
Like I'm really hardly using any resin on this. Okay, good. So I'm gonna real quick get in here with my um, gloves and actually just cover some of these spots here. Sorry, I realize you can't totally see that. Uh, it's a very sticky job, but someone's gotta do it, right? Always wear gloves, kids. I know I said I'm not going to worry about full coverage, but <laughs> I guess I changed my mind. I do want full coverage. So, take some of this extra from the table. Oh my God, don't drop it. Okay. <laughs> I think this is going to work though. This art, this quick coat. Because it's already not dripping that much. So I think we might be golden with this. All right, last one. And then I will totally pay attention to you guys again. I'm sorry. Cool. Okay. Do you guys want to do a quick close up now or at the end or both? Take a quick vote. At the end, both. Now, <laughs> these are plastic. I think someone was asking. These are plastic. Um, I buy the plastic ones just because they're inexpensive, they're light, and I use them for a lot of projects with kids, so. All right, I got mostly votes for both, so we're gonna do it now. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. All right, camera's gonna shake real quick, guys. So we'll look down here where I um, helped it with my hands. It's not going to matter because the paint is going to keep moving, or the resin rather, it's not paint. So I'm sure I still didn't get like 1000% coverage, but look at these colors. Such a cool color combo. Alright, now. I do see some air bubbles. See that? Look at that sucker. Um, so, even though these are plastic, I am going to do like a super quick torch. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm totally wearing slippers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a super quick torch. Let me get the other side. <laughs> yes. Yes, Tina, I can torch. I am torching. If you just go really fast, you just get the air bubbles. You don't melt the plastic. Okay, good. So I think that's good. Yeah, this is looking like it's gonna work better, but what we're gonna do so we don't sit here and watch paint dry basically, is we're gonna set this aside and then we're going to do acrylic pours on some cards. And then at the end of the night, at the end of the video, we'll come back and we'll take a look at these and see how they have fared. So I'm gonna move it. All right, very good.
Okay, so because there's a little resin down here, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do all of the cards. I think I'm gonna try, but I would even then have to go buy more because I only have uh, about 100 cards. Because I do uh, like, you know, Mother's Day cards and Father's Day cards with the kids and stuff, so. Oh my God, I have a lot of things, right? I have all these cards, and but Mother's Day and Father's Day and Valentine's Day, it's only three times a year, you know, that I'm left with all these cards. Okay, so I like to put it on top of a canvas that is still covered with plastic so that I can move it after I'm done with it. Um, Monica, I don't know. I mean, unless, unless, uh... You sent it to the wrong email. I should have it. If for some reason, like I'll tell you guys when they're all sent out. And if for some reason you did not get yours in a few days or whatever, you know, depending on where you are. Because I am sending these, some are international and whatnot. Um, then just let me know. I can always send you one later. It may end up being after Christmas, but better late than never, right? Okay. So... Um, yeah, this is just regular card, like nothing special about it. It's not watercolor paper or anything. And I was a little doubtful as to how it was going to work out. I thought these came out super cool, you know, um, they are going to warp a little bit, but then you can just flatten them. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. It is paper. It will curl or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and do... Um, you know, I've got a lot of resin stuff in the way. Okay. And for this, uh, you really don't need a lot. I'm just going to use one of these little cups again, too. Oh, is my husband here? And this. And the green. And the black. Okay. All right. Yeah, Christine, I'm sorry. It is too late for the cards because I've already started sending them out. Um, but, you know, if you send me a plea in an email, I may do it anyways because that's how I roll. Okay, so let's do some blue. And white. And a little bit of this copper. And I'm just mixing like little bits of every color, not every color, but each color that I put in here. A little bit of black. Go back to some blue. I wish I had silver mixed up because that would look good with this. color combo. Okay. So one thing I did notice when doing this is it's really hard to get coverage on a perfect square, right? Just like, like you, you don't want to run too much of it off because then it's going to go on the underside of the card. So um, what I did is kind of similar with a canvas is I kind of put like a little base layer on here. And you really don't need a lot of paint. And this is just so we get full coverage. Also, I didn't worry too much if anyone, if any paint went underneath. These are handmade cards, so, you know, if someone's going to be a little sad about paint underneath, well, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right. Um, Charlie, that is a great question. Um, I live in California, so the weather here is pretty consistent, right? Um, I haven't noticed, I have been in other areas though. The biggest thing I've noticed is with like drying time, 
I've noticed paintings drying in other areas with um, like higher altitude paintings dried faster. Uh, I didn't, I've been in areas with high humidity though, like I was just in Florida and I didn't really notice much of a difference, but then again, my painting stayed in a hotel room with, you know, a pretty even temperature, so. All right, and I'm just going to very gently move this around and try to get pretty much as much of this square as I can, and I do want the paint to be thin, a thin, thin layer on here, so I did not use a lot at all. You guys can see that all right. Yeah. And just like with a painting over here, I'm going to help it out with my finger. You can, of course, leave negative space as well. But you all know I'm anti negative space. And if you do need to run a little bit off, it is definitely better to do that than to have too much paint. Because if you have too much paint, I mean, it's paper. It'll just crack. So I'm going to just build a dam with my hand here. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. I don't think I'm going to mess with it too much more. So let's go ahead and do the close-up on this one. This is just regular card paper. Here, hold on. I'll show you. I get these packs from Michael's. It's the... Recollections, value pack, cards, and envelopes. So, yeah, it's just like card stock. This is the five by six and a half inch size. And they have them in white, like white, white, and then they have them in this like cream color. This is the cream one. All right, so it's going to shake real quick. One second. All right, so obviously this is upside down because this is the front of the card. Look how cool that came out. I love it. So someone, one of you guys, is going to get this in the mail as a Christmas card. Um, and the ones I did today that I sent out, uh, I put like, you know, Seasons Greens or whatever. Some of them I put different glitter or whatever stamps on, you know. So... Someone had asked me before if the Christmas cards I sent out were going to be acrylic pour Christmas cards, and I thought they were a bit crazy. <laughs> and then I thought I would try it, and it worked. All right, Rebecca, you're going to get this one. I hope you sent me your address. I'm putting your name on this one. I did know. Just like a regular painting, it'll take one to two days, depending on how thick your uh, paint is. And then I wouldn't put anything on top of it. Here, I'll show you this. Like, it it's not going to peel off unless you, like, rip the card itself, you know. Um, so, yeah. I had really wondered if it was possible, and it was. So let's go ahead and do another one. Oh, but before that, we're going to do a giveaway. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hold on one second, guys. I'm trying to figure out where I put the painting <laughs> that we're giving away. It is right this one. Okay. So this is not. Um, I figure this is sort of a little Christmas themed, right? So this one, I don't know if you guys saw the video on this one, but I love this. So this is going to be a giveaway. 
And um, I think the game that we'll play is um, anyone that, yeah, we'll do anyone that donates via PayPal or um, Super Chat. And that could be any amount, guys. I don't care if it's a dollar, two dollars, whatever. This is a 14 by 14. And um, yeah, I love it. So the uh, winner will be chosen tomorrow. So this is just anybody that donates tonight. You'll go into the running for that. And then at the end of tonight, another thing we're gonna do, thanks Dad, is um, we're gonna do a giveaway of a couple ornaments to somebody that's here, just, just somebody that's here on the chat. We'll pick a winner. That oh, will be at the end of the night. Okay, so we're gonna do one more card here. Let me get another canvas to put under this. And for anyone who missed it, these canvases are still covered in plastic. So I just do that because then I can just easily move it without having to bend it. Thank you, Libby. All right. So this one I think will go towards some greens. We'll do green and blue and bronze. I love that color combination. Thank you, Charlie. Okay. Some white. And I keep calling it bronze. It's copper. Copper. And a little bit of black. I'm sorry, Rebecca, what was your question? If you on um, where you should send me your address, you can send it to me either one. Um, probably on my normal Facebook page is easier. All right. Um Nadja, I like Artist Loft Flow Acrylics personally. That's what I use. So, I mean, every person has their own preference. All right, let's go ahead and put down a little white on this one again. Oops, I forgot about that. Uh, understood. All right. Here we go. All right. Yeah, so the giveaway next week is going to be way more exciting. <laughs> I mean, I think this one's very exciting, but the giveaway next week is going to be very exciting. And so hopefully it'll be, you know, maybe some last minute Christmas gifts for you or, you know, for you to give away. Wow, I did not realize I put so much green in here. Okay. Could you do one as a flip? Sure. Yeah, after we do this one, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I actually, I think, got a little too much paint on here. So I'm gonna try to run some back in the cup. I don't know if I'll miss the cup. <laughs> so far so good sorry guys I know at this angle you can't really see it one second this is definitely a messy job <laughs> all right Ooh. <laughs> I'm totally missing the cup 
Okay. I think we're good. I'm gonna go back a little bit towards the top. This little part here. Almost, almost got it guys. Okay, good. There we go. I like that. All right, this one, I'm just going to set it aside because I got paint all over the canvas. What would happen if you folded this in the middle? What, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> um, I mean, that would work. It's just that it's not flat. Once you fold it, it tends to want to pop up. So I keep it flat until it's dry and then I fold it. But I suppose if you weighted it down first so that it was flat, that would work. Um, Stacy, I actually don't know what the paper weight is on this and it actually doesn't say on the package at all. It says, yeah, it literally doesn't say. Uh, but it's like cardstock. Ooh, string pull on a card. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting a little crazy here. Put another one on top. Uh, yes, you could do a dip, absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and don't mind me, I'm just using my rag. Okay, so Tina wanted a flip cup. We're gonna do a flip cup. Oh, if you flip the white part over the wet paint, well then you'd have a double-sided card, I guess. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do a flip cup, and then we're gonna flip it over. <laughs> and we're gonna fold it, I mean, and see if we can get a double-sided card, because why not? I haven't tried that yet, so. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm just going to keep basically using the same kind of color scheme because I don't really want to use another cup. So, uh, Kelly, we're making some acrylic pour Christmas cards or holiday cards or birthday cards or whatever cards you want. Just cards. But these are ones I'm going to be sending out to people. Oh, I just had an idea. That's not good. Okay. I didn't have as much uh, copper in that one as I wanted, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little more in this one. Okay. So, I'm not gonna do the white base on this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pour since we're, oh, that's was supposed to be a flip cup. <laughs> Sorry, Tina. All right. It's not a flip cup, I guess, because I'm going to be flipping it over anyway, so it wouldn't matter if it was a flip cup, I guess. All right. So let's go ahead and get as much coverage on the card as we can. Thank you, bright blue eyes. Oh, wow. You guys, this one's so pretty. Maybe I don't want to flip it over. Just gonna spread this out to the edges here. Yeah, I don't know. I may not be able to bring myself to to do this one because this is so pretty. Whoops. Don't drop it, Marcy. Look how pretty that is, guys. Yeah, this is just like regular card paper. 
Um, like, so it's basically just cardstock. It's not watercolor paper or anything. Yep. Um, so guys, I'm not going to fold this one over. <laughs> it's always pretty. Um, not always this pretty though. Dang it. Dang, name it. Okay. Yeah, the second giveaway tonight, you mean, Tina? Um, that, I'm just going to actually pick somebody out of the chat. It's not going to be easy, but thank you, Bonsai Kathy. Who can only see the top? Maybe you have to, you might have to move your screen down a little or something. Um, the second giveaway that I'm going to do... So the first giveaway is a painting, so I'll show you guys again. Uh, but the second one that I'm going to do will just be a couple ornaments. All right, guys, I have decided I'm going to do another one here because I'm determined to try that. Um, and here's what I'm going to do so that I don't not do it. I'm going to do this as a clean pour, okay? And then, then it won't look so pretty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think this is a good idea. <laughs> I will not feel bad about <laughs> basically doing a dip on this one. All right, let's see what other color do I want. I'm going to put a little green on here. Just a little. And then let's do a tad bit of black, and then we'll flip. I know, right? I thought I was doing a flip cup too. But then people asked me to try folding it, and that sounded really exciting. Don't worry, guys. I have 168 cards to make, so. All right. Um, my gloves are kind of yucky, so I'm going to take them off. And then go ahead and. Ooh. Oh, no. It's folding at the wrong place. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. I'm sure we have full coverage here. Actually, I'm not sure of anything, but let's try. <laughs> almost, almost full coverage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the paper does wrinkle, uh, but you just weight it down for, you know, a little bit and you'll be fine. All right, I'm going to reapply gloves. Yeah, that's true. I could put another one and uh, no, I put another one on top and that would make two cards. Okay. No, Kelly, this is just me making some cards. Um, because I discovered that you can actually acrylic pour cards and that was very exciting. Okay, so I'm a bit concerned with all the paint that's here in the middle. So I'm going to actually, as carefully as possible, go ahead and pour some off because otherwise it's just going to be too much paint. But this actually looks really cool. And I'm going to do a close-up in just a second so you guys can actually see all the awesome cells that were created on this one. Okay. I hope that will be fine. We'll find out. All right. Let me go ahead and do a close-up. And then I swear, Tina, I will use your flip cup. Uh, yes, Mary, this is the usual mixture of uh, acrylic paint, Floetrol, and water. All right, this is going to shake real quick, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rotate. All right, so here's the...
first one of this series that I did. You see the cool little cells there. And this is that second one that I really to mess up. Because <laughs> I really like how it came out. And then here we have the butterfly one. So look at those killer cells. That's super cool. And look at that. Ooh. <gasps> this is so, like, so exciting. At least I'm very excited. Okay, so what we'll do is um, when we do the giveaway for the Christmas ornaments, then you can pick one of the cards that I did tonight. And that I will send you that as well. Now remember, they will dry a little bit darker. But still. So this one will probably actually be fairly dark. Um, but yeah. I will be doing a little more to them as well before sending. So let me go ahead and move these out of the way. And then I will do Tina's flip cup. I promise. One second. Yeah, I really can't make too many cards because I have so many to do. All right. Okay. There we go. So, Tina, we're going to go ahead and do your flip cut. Yes, we're doing some acrylic pour cards. Don't worry, we're gonna do another one. And then we'll do our, our giveaway of everyone in the chat. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. I did one time where it was like pick a number between one and however many people there were in the chat and it was kind of insanity. <laughs> but I may try that again because it was actually kind of fun. All right, this is gonna be a flip cup, guys. Remind me, flip, flip, flip. Green, more copper, more black. Yep, don't forget to flip. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Remind me in like 12 more seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. I will. Okay. All of these are um, acrylic paint with Floetrol and water. All of them. All colors. Okay. So let's go ahead and let that sit. Yeah. All right, I think we'll do the giveaway right now real quick. So this was Insanity the last time, but what we're gonna do is pick a number between one or zero and uh, da da da. 150 the first person to get the right number will win okay so go <laughs> or whoever gets closest if nobody guesses it <laughs> do, 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 do. oh my gosh okay i'm watching i'm watching stacy you are the winner the number was 11. <laughs> that was actually fast that worked out okay all right thanks honey Okay, I'm gonna write that down. So go ahead and email me, Stacy, at info at the painter in you, um, and email me your address, okay? Info at the painter in you.com. 
<laughs> yeah, Tina, this worked out way better. So that's Stacy, all caps. The one who guessed 11 first. In case there's another Stacy in here, don't get confused. Um, so yeah, go ahead and email me real quick, ideally before the end. Okay, let's go ahead and do our card here. <laughs> Look how pretty. This is so fun. All right. Silence of the lands. Intense concentration here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Help it along a little over here. Ooh, this one's real pretty too. They all are. All right. Yeah, I think I think using um, your hand as a wall works really well with these. Wow, this is cool. Okay, almost done. <laughs> the pressure. Oh, okay. That's as good as it gets. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, uh, this thing has just too much paint on it. Is this wet paint? Yeah, it is. Oh, well, this one's gonna have a little wet paint on the bottom. That's okay. All right, I'm just gonna get these couple corners here. I guess I really have a thing about full coverage. Okay. <laughs> Tina, that's okay. Success. Yeah, no, this is gorgeous. This is really pretty. Um, let's see. It is going to continue moving a bit, of course. All right. Um, here's what we're going to do. I want to actually do one more quick <laughs> giveaway. Yeah, Verizon could look, learn something from me. For all of those awesome people that are still here, I think we'll do another card and two ornaments. Um, oh, Stacy, also don't forget to email me which card you would like out of the four that were done tonight. Do your best to create them, to describe it or whatever. Um, the cells are just created by Floetrol and I'm guessing the different densities of the paint. I am definitely no scientist, so. That is based off of the information that I have. The answer. <laughs> yeah, no silicone or anything in here. All right, so I'm going to El Spicy. You are close enough that you can come on over here and I will throw some paint in your face. Yes. <laughs> I have to think of a good giveaway. Hmm. What is another good giveaway? Well, not a good giveaway, but a good contest. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The only thing I can think of is pick a number. I don't even know. Okay, I guess we'll do that again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't get any more inventive right now. So pick a number between 1 and 50 and go. <laughs> no, no one's got it yet. Keep guessing. Thanks, Devil Rider Man. You're a little far off. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and guess again. No one's gotten it yet. 
And I'm not going to be able to see who got the closest, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Between 1 and 150. Wow, did I pick too hard of a number? I'll give you a hint. It's greater than 75. It's less than 120. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Um, <laughs> it's greater than 90. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, Johnny. Oh man, Johnny, you're my husband. That's not fair. Damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. Okay. Oh, this is a little crazy. <laughs> All right, who knows, question mark. Who knows, question mark. You're the second person that got it. My husband actually got it first, but he's my husband. So who knows, question mark. The number was 105. Um, so go ahead and email me with um, your address and which card you would like. And I will send you the two, two ornaments and a card. So that was to the username who knows question mark. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you for playing. That was insanity. Oh, good. Stacy's back. Okay, good. Yeah, Stacy, you won. So email is info at the painter in you dot com. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go ahead and do a close up on this one real quick because I want to see, show you guys the super cool cells on this. One second. Because it's so cool. Look at that. I love it. Yeah, there is YouTube, the live chat, they cut you off after so many. I don't know how many exactly, but They'll be like, you're, you're talking too much, which I think is bull honky. And I don't know how to change the settings on that. So, yeah, this is so pretty. Okay, so for anyone that tuned in a little late, I'm just going to reiterate one more time. Um, we're doing a giveaway of this painting. To anyone that donates via Super Chat or PayPal anytime tonight. This is a 14 by 14 gorgeous acrylic. And the winner will be chosen by tomorrow. So anyone that donates via Super Chat or PayPal tonight. <laughs> thank you, Tina. Um, we'll go in the um, running to win this painting. And that can be international. I don't care where you are. I'll send this to you wherever. And of course, I'll send you a card as well, whoever wins. So um, if you haven't still, go ahead and you have time to do that. Otherwise, oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I hope you guys had a great time. Don't forget to tune in next Wednesday because we're going to do another giveaway. And it will be even better and more awesomer. And um, yeah. Love you guys, and I will see y'all next time. Thank you, Allie. <laughs>